and immediately I started doing that my channel blew up hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new and you haven't seen my face before hello my name is Terry and I'm a youtuber based in Accra Ghana I create beauty hair and lifestyle videos so if that's something you're interested in please consider hitting the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you never miss an upload from me I have a new video up every single week also consider following me on Instagram where I post so much you not get to see here on YouTube we just hit a thousand YouTube subscribers and we have over a hundred K views on YouTube. And let me just say, my channel is not like a lot of channels on YouTube. It actually took me quite some time to grow up to this point. If you're new, you might not know this, but I've been on YouTube for the past five years and I'm now hitting 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> I created my YouTube channel in 2015 and I posted my first YouTube video. This video, as of now, only has about 450 views, but guys, I am most proud of this video compared to any of my other videos because that was when I decided to actually start. And when I started, guys, believe me, I didn't know anything at all about YouTube. Fast forward five years down the line and my channel is now seeing some growth that I really feel it deserves. And it's only because I started implementing these few tips. I've been dreaming about hitting 1,000 subscribers on YouTube and 4,000 watch hours so my channel can finally get monetized and my channel can become self-sustaining, meaning anything that this channel needs to grow even more, this channel will have the funds to be able to do so. so on that note, please try your best to watch this video to the end to help me hit 4,000 watch hours so my channel can be monetized even faster. Let's pop into YouTube studio real quick so I could show you exactly how my channel analytics is looking. Yes guys, views are up by 46,000 views in just 28 days. 39.2k more than usual. My watch time has also gone up by 1.2k hours actually 1000 hours more than usual which is amazing and as you can see i haven't started earning a revenue from my youtube just yet plus 565 subscribers a month this is huge so all i'm going to share with you guys in this video is what i did between january and march to grow my channel to this point and I've even noticed that the numbers keep increasing and my videos are ranking even higher in search which is which is amazing the first real tip that changed the game for me is finding your niche and your area of expertise niching down was the best thing that I could do for my channel first of all I studied myself and figured out which content I like to create the most, which content resonates with me the most, which content do I watch the most on YouTube. And as you all know, my area of expertise is in hair and hairstyling, but I have a passion for makeup and skincare. So I studied myself really, really well, and I was able to niche down to these three main aspects to focus on. Niching down has really really helped me in terms of getting video ideas and in terms of ranking my channel in YouTube search which is also very very important. Guys, if you've watched this video up to this point, please don't forget to hit the like button if this video is helping you thus far. Our next tip is to create more fun and educational videos. I try my best to put myself in the shoes of my viewers 
what would I like to see from a creator? What would I like to watch? And I'll figure out how best I can break it down to the understanding of a complete beginner. If you've noticed, I launched a beginner friendly brow tutorial, which I'm going to link right up here. Although there are already thousands and thousands of brow tutorials out there, what's my perspective on how to do your brows? How am I doing it differently that no one else is doing on YouTube? And how can I break the process of doing your brows down to the understanding of a complete beginner? By doing this, I'm going to attract the attention of complete beauty beginners who will be willing to stick with me all through my journey, hopefully. <laughs> Guys, and I'm sure a million other creators have shared the same tip with you guys and that is to be consistent. Being consistent changes everything. I started to see a consistent growth in my channel, immediately decided to stick to a particular upload day and time. So hopefully now my videos are like a TV show which pops up once a week at the same time every day. But the most growth that I've recorded is when I was able to post consistently two videos in a week. Guys, I don't know what happened. My channel blew up, literally. So yes, I would say consistently posting one to two videos. I would say three to four to five. You would get burnt out. See, you have to keep it fun and fresh and interesting as much as you possibly can. So the next tip I'd like to share with you guys is your editing style. If people are getting bored of watching your videos, they'll definitely click off your videos. And one thing that YouTube doesn't like is people clicking off videos. That means your video is not interesting and they will not suggest it to other people. YouTube is a platform that grows based on views. So they want to keep their viewers, they want to keep their audience on YouTube for longer. So can your video do that? Can your video keep people on YouTube for longer periods of time? If yes, then YouTube is definitely going to be suggesting your videos like it's suggesting mine right now. So yes, I do get a lot of views from YouTube suggesting my videos to other viewers who come searching for topics related to things that I create. Try your best to encourage your viewers to stay on your videos longer. Offer them something. Show them a little behind the scenes shots. Add up some B-rolls and maybe some kind of, I don't know, something interesting. Spice up your videos. To me, this is the most, this is one of the most important tips. Your thumbnails. <laughs> Guys, thumbnails are the most important part. The first thing anybody sees before they click on your video is your thumbnail. And most people are watching your videos from mobile, meaning your thumbnail is just about this big. So try to try to put as much information as you possibly can in your thumbnails, but make it simple. Do you, do you get what I'm trying to say? Make your thumbnails look simple, but put in as much information to describe that video as possible. Don't use cursive aesthetic fonts that people cannot see because remember, your thumbnail is mostly going to be viewed on mobile, which means it's going to be this small. So try to make your text as big and as bold as possible. Another tip will be to do a mobile test and put your thumbnail on your phone and see if you can see the text that you have on your thumbnail. Make it something that is catchy to the eye. Do your research on colors and know which colors people are most drawn to. Also, remember to keep it simple, fun and fresh when you're creating your thumbnails. Another tip is to ask for engagement. You need to ask your audience to engage with your videos. So you would notice at the beginning of my video, I create beauty, hair and lifestyle videos. So if that's something you're interested in, please consider hitting the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you never miss an upload from me. I have a new video up every single week. Also, consider following me on Instagram where I post so much you will not get to see here on YouTube.
but I always ask you to please subscribe Turn on your post notifications and follow me on Instagram. That is me asking you to engage with my video. And I also ask you in the video, like right now, please comment down below if there's any other video that you would like me to create here on my channel and I'll be more than happy to do so. And most of the time, people are more receptive to this and they tend to do what you ask them to do. If you ask them in a nice way though. <laughs> Some people are new to YouTube and they don't know the ins and outs of it. If you don't say, please hit the like button, please hit the subscribe button, please turn on your post notifications, the person probably does not know you're supposed to do that. I didn't know when I started watching people's videos that watching an ad all through gets my favorite creator a few pennies so they can keep on creating better videos for me to watch. So I used to skip on their ads, but now since I found out that I just leave it to play. Just leaving the ad to play means that I'm trying to support them to at least get a few coins to make their work a little easier because it's, it's a form of incentive for them if they keep getting paid. If they get paid, it means they can create even better videos for me to watch, which is a win-win for both of us. Oh, and by the way, if you're still watching as of this point, please comment a heart emoji down below so I know you're watching and you're enjoying this video. But at this point, the more comments you get, the more likes you get, the more subscribers you get within a short period of time, YouTube knows that you're doing something good and YouTube suggests your videos to other people so they can also enjoy the good content that you are also creating. Some people have amazing content here on YouTube so if you're somebody like that, comment down below your YouTube handle so that people, so that anybody watching this video can also find you and we can keep on growing and glowing together. So thank you guys so so much for watching my channel up to this point. I really appreciate each and every one of you and I'd like to say Thank you so, so, so much for your support, love and positivity that I've been getting on this channel, guys. It's, it's amazing to me. I really, I wouldn't be here creating this video for you if not for you guys. So I'd really like to say thank you so much for all the love, positivity and support. I hardly get any negative energy on this channel and I'd really love to keep it that way. So. Please keep the positivity coming, keep the encouragement coming. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next upload next week. Bye!